All right, so have you ever, like, just thought about, like, how amazing it would be to just, like, hop on a plane? Yeah. And just be like, take me away from, like, all this snow and, like, freezing cold. Yeah, escape the winter blues. Yes. And in, like, just a couple hours, you're, like, landing by, like, a beach with, like, sparkling water. Yeah. 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 That sounds amazing. That's what we're doing today. Really? Where are we going? Yeah, so, like, we're diving deep, you know. Okay. Into a specific trip. Oh, cool. And it goes, like, right from the middle of the Austrian Alps. Wow. Down to the Italian Riviera. That's quite the journey. Also, what kind of plane are we taking? So, okay, for this one, we're going to pretend we're in an Embraer 175. Okay. You know, one of those. Yeah, yeah. It's sporting those sleek Austrian Airlines colors. Oh, nice. So we're starting in Innsbruck, Austria. Oh, I've heard great things about Innsbruck. Low EA for all you, like, you know, aviation nerds. Yeah. Who are following along on their flight trackers. I'm curious, though, why an Embraer 175 for this kind of trip? Oh, well, okay, so, like... It's known for, you know, like super short takeoffs and landings. Right. Which is like key when you're dealing with like mountains, you know. Oh, I see. Especially at Innsbruck, right? Makes sense. Because it's like right there in a valley. Surrounded by those massive peaks. Exactly. So we're taking on, we're surrounded by the Alps. It's got to be incredible. Oh, yeah. Okay. What's it like to be surrounded by that kind of beauty? So picture this. You're taking off. Okay. And like... You know how when a plane takes off, it's kind of slow at first? Yeah. You're looking out the window. Yeah. And the Alps are just like rising up all around you. <laughs> it's just like, ah. I've seen pictures, but I can only imagine the real thing. Yeah. Innsbruck is more than just mountains though, right? Oh yeah, of course. It's a cultural hub too, isn't it? It's known for its winter sports. Right, right. But like you said, it's a cultural hub. Yeah. It's got this like charming little old town. So we're talking like centuries old architecture. Yeah. Against a backdrop of snow-capped peaks. Imagine taking off, you know, and you see these, like, red roofs and these old buildings with, like, the snow-capped mountains behind them. Like stepping back in time. Yeah. And into a postcard. Yeah, exactly. It's, like, surreal. Okay, so we take off from Innsbruck. Where are we headed next? Okay, so we're not staying in Austria for too long. Okay. We're hopping over the border real quick, you know. Where to? Into Germany. Where me? Yeah, okay. We're going to the Zugspitz Peak. Zugspitz Peak, that's, that rings a bell. It's got a glacier. Yeah. And I've always been fascinated by glaciers, you know. Me too. They're incredible. It's Germany's highest peak, by the way. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, and the views, I hear, they're just incredible. I bet. What's it like flying over the Zugspitz? So imagine, you know, you're flying past these, like, jagged slopes. Yeah. And you can see the shadow of our plane, you know. Yeah. Gliding over the glacier below. You can almost feel the chill from up there, can't you? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so we've done mountains, we've done glaciers. What's next? Okay, so now we're heading to Lake Garda. Lake Garda. Yeah. I've heard of it. It's in Italy. Okay, in Italy. It's Italy's biggest lake, by the way. Wow. Bigger than all the others. Yeah. Okay. It's even bigger than Lake Tahoe. What makes Lake Garda so special besides its size? Well, like, I think what gets me is, like, you know, we've gone from, like, these, like, towering mountains with snow on top. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then suddenly it's this, like, expansive blue lake. That's quite the contrast, I like haven't. almost jarring, you know, Yeah. but in a good way, in a good way. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. And it's still, you know, surrounded by like rolling hills, but they're not like those huge peaks anymore. You yeah. know, it's just like this. I don't know. Yeah. It's just such a like visual shift. I can see that. And it's just so like tranquil and blue. Yeah. You, huh? know? you know, I was reading about Lake Garda. Okay. And there's actually like a lot of history there, too. Really? Yeah. Like during World War One. Yeah. They fought battles over Lake Garda. Wow. History and beauty all in one place. I know, right? Okay, so we've seen mountains, glaciers, a beautiful lake. Yeah. Where does our virtual trip take us next? Okay, so get ready. Okay. Because we're about to fly over one of the most iconic coastlines. Okay, let's hear it. In the entire world. Ooh, lay it on me. The Italian Riviera. Oh, the Riviera. Yeah. Now we're talking. You know, when you think about it, it's got such a rich history. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, all the way back from Roman times. Right? Yeah, yeah. And then, like, you know, fast forward like a million years. Yeah. And in, like, the 20th century, it became, like, the playground for, yeah. you know, uh, the rich and famous. Yeah. So it's, like, this blend of, like, ancient history and, like, modern glamour. So it's like stepping into a time capsule. Yeah. Of beauty and, yeah, and glamour. 
I was thinking about it. You know, you fly over the Riviera. Yeah. And you see those like colorful villages that are like perched on these cliffs. Yeah. You know, with the turquoise water sparkling below. Oh, yeah. That sounds amazing. It's like something out of a dream. It's no wonder it's been a muse for so many artists over the years. Oh, yeah, for sure. Monet, Picasso. Yeah. They were all captivated by it. It's like they all had their own like way of like capturing the essence of the Riviera, you know? Yeah, it's interesting to see how the same landscape can be interpreted in so many different ways. Yeah, exactly. So we've soaked up the beauty of the Riviera. Yeah. Time to land, right? Yes. Where are we touching down? Genoa. Genoa. Yeah, so for the grand finale. Okay. We're landing in Genoa, Italy. Genoa. I'm excited for this one. What's cool about this airport, though? Well, let me guess. It's right on the coast. Is it really right on the Ligurian Sea? Yeah. Wow. So after we've flown over the mountains and the lake, we're greeted by the sea. Imagine. We're landing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And you smell the salt air. Yeah. You hear the waves crashing. It's a journey for all the senses. Yeah. Incredible. I mean, this flight, it really just shows you, like, how diverse the planet is. You know? It really does. From yeah. towering peaks to tranquil waters to a glamorous coastline. It makes you want to book a ticket right now. I know, right? And the thing is, like, we barely even scratched the surface. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Each one of these places has so much history and culture yeah stories waiting to be discovered it makes you realize how much there is to see and experience in the world so like if you had to pick just one place on this trip to spend like a whole week ooh, that's a tough one what would you choose tough choice would it be like lake garda with its historic charm yeah would you conquer the heights of the zugspitz ooh. or would you get lost in the beauty of the riviera oh it's so hard to choose let us know in the comments. Yeah, tell us where your curiosity takes you. Yeah, we'd love to hear from you. We'd love to hear about your dream trip. Yeah. All right, until next time. See ya. Bye.